Tesla <clears throat> cuts production amid slower sales in China and their stock tumbled yesterday again. Also, Emperor William Lee says, after we achieve 10,000, 100,000 will be easy to achieve. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. You see, when I said it in the past that Tesla is going to continue to lose market share in China and eventually go bankrupt, they say I'm bashing Tesla. They say, how wrong can you be? <laughs> but the writing was on the wall. You decided not to read the writing. I decided to read it. So let's start off with this. They cut production in China amid slower sales. However, according to data, estimate resale sales of NEV in March at 750,000 units, up 95% from February, rebounding from February as we all knew that this would happen. We all knew that in February, for the uh, holiday seasons, there's a slowdown in sales and we saw that they were all affected. During this period, NEO outsold XPeng, even though we're high end. Now, with 750,000 up 93% in EV sales, Tesla sales have slowed down. Hmm, how can that be money making Mitch? Because people are starting to realize in China, and again, the only time Tesla became profitable is when they entered the Chinese market because they have a larger market for uh, new energy vehicles. In America, it still isn't being adopted because people realize they don't wanna wait 40 minutes to charge their EV and have no resale value. That is also the key factor, no resale value because the battery is done after eight years. So <laughs> in March and April, there will be heavyweight car companies joining the battery swap reported on Weibo. What, say that again, Mitch? Let me say it again. In March this month, that, and, and we're gonna get into that, and April, there will be heavyweight car companies, car companies, joining the battery swap reported on Weibo, our battery swap stations. From two NEO employees, we're talking about this on Weibo. Who are those heavyweight car companies? I would like to assume that one of them is going to be BYD. I would also like to assume the other might be Mercedes. Let us see, let us see. But this was on Weibo by two um, high level employees that actually made some predictions in the past that came to pass. And also, before I get into the meat of, the top of today's video, I want you guys to take a look at this video and then we shall continue. And it's not just the traditional big three U.S. automakers seeking to take advantage of those incentives, raising the specter of the U.S. being left behind by overseas producers the way we saw in the 1970s. Well, I think there's a risk. I think you listen to what uh, the leadership of uh, Ford and GM and Stellantis as well are saying. They recognize they're behind. Uh, that this is fundamentally a technology play, uh, electric vehicles. It's a, it's a fundamental shift in technology. It's not just an incremental shift in vehicle technology. And uh, they were behind. Certainly GM and Ford both invest a lot in saying we need to, we need to catch up and we need to catch up quickly. I would say Ford's uh, CEO, Jim Farley, has been very blunt about this in saying we're going to need to remake this company. We're going to need to do things differently in terms of how we organize ourselves to drive innovation to actually catch up and catch up quickly uh, in, in, a, in a growing global market as well. So I am hopeful uh, that what we'll see is that that kind of commitment 
didn't actually manifest in the marketplace. And we've certainly seen some, uh, we're seeing those companies increase their sales uh, sequentially as well. Uh, but I think that that's always a risk, right? We have to, we, we're going to have to stay ahead and it's a dynamic global market. Is there a challenge in the price point? Because certainly GM, for example, started out with the more expensive vehicles, made sense because they needed to cover the, the cost. At the same time, again, going back to my re recollection of when Japan really made inroads, yes. they start out pretty inexpensively. You have some less expensive models coming from overseas. Yeah, look, there's different, different approaches to this electric vehicle market that are really fascinating, where I think that the, the dominant approach is to start at the very high price point, uh, try to capture that margin, and then drive, uh, drive prices down across the board. I would argue that actually, learning from history, there's a real opportunity to own the lower cost segment of this market, right? To be the electric vehicle provider for typical middle class folks across the country. Ed. And one thing that's sorely needed if we're to get to an electric vehicle future is a way to charge those vehicles across the country. The single most important thing the government needs to do is to backstop the build out of an electric vehicle charging infrastructure. It's interesting if you look at the cost effectiveness of uh, in, uh, public investment to actually reduce emissions across time. There's probably no higher bang for buck investment than a public investment in infrastructure. And if you think about it, it makes sense. Right? All right, guys, welcome back to this channel. I hope you enjoyed that little clip. Now, remember one of the topics <clears throat> that the gentleman hinted upon, and he was actually a big investor in BlackRock that invested heavily in NEO. Now he joined the Biden administration. He said it's a tech play. Remember, we always talk about that on my channel. It's a technology play. It's not a gas guzzling car. It's a computer. Remember, we always said that here on this channel. And this is one of the main reasons why King William Lee, Emperor William Lee, sorry, invests so much in research and development to stay ahead of the game. It's almost like having a Huawei phone that is satellite connected. They knew that they had to always stay ahead of the game. So also, they, but yet when, King, when Emperor William Lee said that, that we're gonna be investing heavily in research and development as usual, the market reacted, oh my God, we're gonna be spending money to innovate? <laughs> yes. And also, did you hear when he said that GM also started out with expensive models to establish that look what we can do. And now if you want the cheaper model, here it is. They all do that, right? Uh, also, they talked about, I don't know if I had enough time to show it in that clip, but they talked about building out charging stations throughout America. The Biden administration is giving a lot of subsidies to help with that. And this is why I haven't sold my shares of ChargePoint. I just have it sitting there. Unfortunately, I haven't been averaging down because our baby Neo is so low in terms of share price. Now watch the difference. Tesla is down in share price and they are down in innovating they are down in selling evs all around the board they are down and they are continue to be down 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 and they're going to continue to go down remember money making me said that unless unless they bend the knee to the emperor william lee watch you'll see what i'm talking about while Elon is busy sending a spaceship up, testing a spaceship for, I don't know, $50 million and it blows up. And Bloomberg says, oh my God, it did better this time, didn't it? <laughs> so, Emperor William Lee says, 10,000, after we reach 10,000 battery swap stations, 100,000 will be easily to achieve. And <laughs> because it will get cheaper to make them, we will have more um, revenue coming in from the 10,000 battery substations. We'll have more partnerships coming in because they are realizing if they don't join us, they are going to crumble. These two uh, Neo employees on Weibo basically said two car giants are getting ready to join us. Now you wonder why money making Mitch decided
to buy 42 more shares of NEO on his birthday yesterday. Yes, on my 50th birthday yesterday, I bought 42 more shares. Because when people are panicking, they should not be investing in the stock market. The stock market is not for you. If you put a comment on my channel, the stock is down again with a tear coming out of your eye. You are not an investor and you should never invest. Because if the company is doing what it's supposed to do, but because of rhetoric and propaganda, the stock price is being dragged down by the shorts, etc., etc., you should rejoice and understand that you are getting an opportunity to become wealthy. Grab the bull by the horns or step aside with the sheep and let the lions feed. So, also, before I get into the meat of the subject, Remember, the warranty on batteries, Emperor William Lee said, is going to be starting to expire from next year. And when that happens, how are they going to check the health of those batteries? Aha. Also, and the warranty is up. Is Tesla going to say to the customers in China, oh, just pay $150 more for warranty? No, they are not. And that's when the Chinaman is going to wake up and say, my God, what a mistake I made by buying dog poop. Dog poop. Because now the car is worthless. Now hear this. As if what I didn't just say to you guys was outstanding and amazing. Neo Power Unit signs deal with Anhui Zonghan to advance swap station build out. Zonghan and Neo Power will jointly promote the construction of a thousand battery swap stations, creating an open energy network and a battery asset management and operations system, Neo said. Let me say that again an open energy network and a battery asset management and operations system. So, this is only going to be for battery swapping. We are selling energy to the grid, my dear Neo Lions and Lionesses. Another thousand. We already plan to put a thousand this year. This is another thousand. What do you think will happen to our profit margin by the end of this year? When you invest, you invest in terms of years, not weeks, days, or months. So for the instant gratification, welfare mindset, you are on the wrong channel, boy. Now. That is why I'm saying, King William Lee said, after we reach 10,000, after those two car giants, we don't know who they are, join up in March, in April, and more to come, the revenue that they will be giving to us to build out these swap stations, how long do you think it will take us to build 10,000 swap stations and thereafter, 100,000? Mm. 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 How you like them apples, boy? So I hope you all are getting excited. And unlike the welfare mindset instant gratification person who will come on and say, Oh, I have 500 shares and it's always been down. That is because they don't think like an investor. They don't look at what the company is doing. They have no business investing. They should go to the casino, buy a lottery ticket on Friday and get a 40 ounce of malt liquor. That's what they should do. Leave the investing to lions. Neo Power, the power arm of Neo, has signed an agreement with Zonghan Energy to advance the planned construction of battery swap stations. Neo Power today signed a deal in Haifei, Anhui province with Zonghan, which was formed in January to collaborate on battery standards, charging and battery swap technology, charging and battery swap network, construction and operation, and battery asset management. The electric vehicle makers, Vice President of Power Business, Shen Fei said today, Zo sorry, this was yesterday, Zonghan was formally established on January 11 with the support of the Anhui Provisional Government and is primarily responsible for promoting the construction of an open charging and battery swap network in Anhui, Shen noted in a statement posted on Neo app. By who? By the government. Who's backing Neo? The government. Which vehicles is the Chinese government going to use when their gas cars become outdated? Mm. 
I'll leave that up to you to figure it out. On the same day, Anwe Province Energy Group, Anwe Transportation Holding Group and NEO entered into a strategic partnership that will support Zongan construction of a thousand all-in-one energy storage charging and battery swap station. Energy storage and battery swap station selling energy back to the grid. So you want to know why Money Making Mitch is optimistic when everyone else is pooping in their pants? When my lions and warriors, my subscribers come out and say he, they bought another five share, shares today, another 10, another 20, another 100, another 1,000. This is why. This is why you should not panic. Because when you do your research and you have the knowledge, why are you pooping in your pants? If you're still pooping on your pants, you're on the wrong channel and you should not invest. The signing is a further advancement of the cooperation between Zonghan and Neo Power since the establishment of Zonghan Shen said. Zonghan and Neo Power will jointly promote the construction of a thousand stations to create an open energy network. Open energy network. And an efficient battery asset management and operation system according to the statement. The two will expand the construction of battery swap station to the Yangtze River Delta region as well as the whole country based on their layout in Anhui according to the statement. As well as the whole country based on their layout in Anhui according to the statement. The whole country of China. Do you know how big China is? Hmm. How much money do you think we'll be generating by that time? Oh my God, people. Do you understand the amount of money we're getting ready to make? Do you understand that we are an energy company? Do you understand that these cars are gonna last 15 years or and well beyond 15 years? Where will the revenue be coming from after everyone has a nice EV and don't need to buy one in 15 years? Mm, from the phones, from the chips, from the energy. Remember that I keep saying this also, the spin-offs are coming. The amount of money we're getting ready to make by the end of this year and next year, especially next year, will blow your mind, boy. It will blow your mind. If Neo falls to four dollars, I'm buying. If it falls to three, I'm buying. If it falls to two, a dollar, I don't care. I'm buying, buying, buying. Like the last time it did, and I kept buying. And people say to me, Mitch, I wish I had a share average, my share average price was like yours, and now you're getting the chance, but you're pooping in your pants because you have no vision. Same as with UXIN Ocean, I keep buying because I have the vision I see. China has the largest used car market in the world. And I see where this thing is going in the future. And the, and the Chinese government again put a billion RMB into them. Where do you think this is going? They have the most advanced refurbishing facility for used cars in the world. That's why Emperor William Lee invested over 300 million into them. Wake up, my people. Wake up. The two sides will cooperate on battery set management and operation model to support the promotion of battery rental service. Battery rental service, the statement said. On March 20th, Neo's battery shop station located along highways in the Yangtze River Delta reached 200, covering 92 cities, Shen noted. As Zonghan pushes to build new battery swap stations, the network will become even denser to further enhance the power-up experience, Shen said. Zonghan was established by several companies, including Anwe Province, the government, Energy Group, NEO, and Goshen High Tech, which is another energy company that we partnered up with. Do you guys remember that? They helped build out battery swap stations this year. Gangster, bad motherfucker. I can't say it, I can't say it. Brooklyn to the rocker. Wake up, people, wake up. Zonghan was established on January 11. NEO entered into deals with Anwe Province Energy Group and Anwe Transportation Holding Group to support Zonghan efforts to promote the construction of battery swap stations. On the same day, NEO entered into battery swap business partnerships with Anhui, Zhanghai Automobile, JAC, and Cherry, and the Cherry, both headquarters in Anhui. Remember, we have that partnership as well. A lot of people are saying, well, Mitch, what is going on with these partnerships? Remember, I told you guys, you will see the fruition, and when you do, you will be blown away. Shares of NEO that are cheap now, this year, you will never see it again. It's the same way as when Apple get to a certain price point or Baidu 
and people buy percentages of it. They can't even buy a whole share. That's the way it will be, and we will be on board. To date, NIO has 2,391 battery shop stations in China, of which 786 are located along highways, according to data monitored by CNEV Post. NIO plans to add 1,000 more battery shop stations in China in 2024, bringing the total to more than 3,310, along with that other 1,000 that's going to be providing energy announced on December 23rd last year. So last year we said 1,000, now it's 2,000, two grand. And you guys, some of you are still coming and putting an emoji with a teardrop in the eye saying the stock is down again, instead of understanding that this is your last chance to stop being middle class and poor. This is your last chance to become wealthy. So you don't have to go and punch in and do a job anymore. But you can travel the world and go and see ancient sites or whatever you're into. This is, I'm telling you, I will be going to England, hang out with Andrew Drew Carey, Triple Ever Jack, and my other English subscribers to watch a Manchester Liverpool game. I will be going to the World Cup when it comes to America. Are you with me or not where we'll be drinking a Guinness? eating some good food or do you want to still go and punch in your time card your nine to five time card like a slave you decide i have decided i grew up in a house made of dirt but i was not going to stay poor now my goal is to become wealthy are you with me my neo lions and lionesses put it in the comment hit that like button and if you haven't yet subscribed you might want to think about doing so because in this channel we have that warrior mindset like Titi said we get rich Oh, we die trying, guys.